Today I want to do a quick demo of how to use keyboard shortcuts in VAS Programmer. Um, keyboard shortcuts make it a lot less necessary to actually take your hands off the keyboard and reach for the mouse, so it makes your editing session flow a little smoother. Um, of course, new users like using the mouse because it's more intuitive, but as you start using VAS Programmer more, you'll probably want to start using the keyboard shortcuts uh, just to make your editing session go smoother and more quickly. So let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is that if you take uh, your mouse and hover the pointer over a button, most of them will show you a tooltip that indicates the uh, keyboard shortcut. In this case it's alt left arrow. Um, this one's alt right arrow, alt up arrow, and alt down arrow. Um, for those Mac users, I just want to mention that the Alt button and the Options button are the same button. So um, anytime I say Alt up arrow, if you replace that with um, Option up arrow, it's the same thing. You can look around here at some of the other buttons, um, the Exit is control shift E and edit is is excuse me control E so there is some um, logic to uh, the the shortcuts which makes make them a lot easier to learn uh, the minus and plus uh, buttons are uh, uh, control down arrow and control up arrow okay so that should right there be enough really to get us started if you just learn those keys, it makes it a lot nicer to use. So for example, if I hit um, Alt, Left, or Right Arrow on my keyboard, I can page quickly through the programs list on the display as such. Or if I hit Control, excuse me, Alt, Up, or Down Arrow, yeah, it goes up and clicks up or down just one position. So Alt up and down, the up and down arrows, just like on the Kurzweil, do um, single scrolling up or down, and left and right arrows do an entire page at a time. So in that way it's, it's very intuitive, it works the same way as the Kurzweil interface. Um, another thing that is handy to know are a couple of useful type-in uh, functions. And to demonstrate those, let me go into the edit mode on this program. So if I hit Control E, it actually goes into the editor on this program. And just to quickly demonstrate again, let me show you that uh, if I say a Control Left, excuse me, Alt Left or Right arrow, uh, I can actually move around uh, just like. I can by using the buttons on the Kurzweil interface. But another handy thing is that I can actually jump between layers uh, by using uh, uh, the layer command or simply typing L. So if I wanted to go to layer 3, for example, I just type L space 3, hit enter, and it'll take me to, uh, to layer 3. Another thing, well, let me actually show you some more. Uh, so if I want to say L space 6, goes to 6. If I said like L space 7 and there is no layer 7, it's just going to uh, ignore my command. So let's go back to layer 1. And um, another thing I want to demonstrate is the ability to scroll to another page very quickly. For example, say I wanted to go to the layer page. If I simply type uh, colon and the word layer, just like you see here, you might see here in the uh, upper left hand corner and hit return. It takes me to the layer page. So with just the, uh, the L command, or the layer command, um, as such, and these uh, semicolon commands which allow me to go to different pages very quickly, um, you can see I can move around the Kurzweil interface very very fast. Now of course I still have um, these buttons for navigation and um, if I just hit the, uh, as it says, control comma, 
uh, control comma key actually takes me back to where I was. And if I hit the control period key, it goes forward. So, um, so I have the ability to use the uh, the navigation uh, control back and forward commands as well as these uh, uh, semicolon commands that allow me to go to any page very quickly. So, um, just for the heck of it, let's go back to the to the layer page because that page has lots of fields on it. And I just uh, want to demonstrate some some more uh, moving around uh, with the mouse. For example, um, since I can use the up and down and left and right arrow keys on my keyboard by combining it with the Alt button, um, it's very nice just to sometimes um, you know just click around in the in the old-fashioned, let me say, way that we do right on the hardware interface. And um, so that can be pretty fast too. It just really depends on where your hands are at. Um, if, if I'm editing a lot and very quickly and my hands are on the keyboard, I like, if I wanted to change this to MP, I would just uh, probably keep my hands on the keyboard, uh, navigate over to the, to the uh, low velocity field, highlight it, and since the the focus is always going to be on the typing area, it's already pre-selected. I can just type right in. I can just say like MP. And if I wanted to change the field below it, I'd just go down here and maybe change it to uh, to F or something like that. So that makes it very nice, as I said, to move around uh, the screens uh, very quickly without even touching the mouse. So. Um, I think those of you who take just a little bit of time to get used to that, I think you're really going to like it. So that's all about keyboard shortcuts, and I hope that makes your uh, vast programmer experience a little nicer. And uh, be sure to give me any feedback if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. Bye.